I'm back again. I was just talking about how much like London this was in New York. And it is in a lot of ways, except it's a heck of a lot easier to find your way around. The grid system. Uh, avenues run north to south, streets run east to west, and they're all numbered in the right order. So if you are on West 35th Street, as I am now, and I need to be on West 43rd Street, I need to go eight blocks. It's not rocket science. Um, which makes it easy to find your way around if you know what you're looking for. If the numbers are going in the wrong direction, then so are you, you turn around. But the other great thing about the grid system is that although New York is famous for bad traffic and angry drivers, I'm not seeing any of that. All I'm seeing is a smoothly flowing system of traffic and it's not stopping. Now you get gridlock everywhere in the world in big cities. But there's no real impatience here unless you cut somebody off or do something stupid or you're a dick. Um, in which case that's fair enough. But the traffic keeps moving, as in London it will stop and stay stopped and then you're going to try and get across five lanes of traffic because you're in the wrong place. You know where you need to be, you know which lane you need to be in and they've got a really sensible system of one-way streets. One block is left, next block is right, next block after that is left again and so forth. It works. It's a really well organized system which is just as well because in a city of this size if it wasn't it would be absolute chaos. The beauty of it is to keep it moving, to make it look easy and there is no way it's easy. But it's beautiful. I'm on 7th and West 36th. A few blocks to go, we're back at the hotel. Can't get lost. Can't say that in London. Yeah. One more thing that keeps this place running very smoothly is pedestrians. Again, to draw a comparison with London and New York, in London you cross the road wherever you see a gap, even if there isn't one and people get crushed. It happens. Uh, over here, that doesn't happen. Well, I'm sure it does, but not as much. And the reason is, they have jaywalking here, which is an offence. And they take it very, very seriously. For example, I'm at the intersection right now, I'm waiting for the light. And it turns right, uh, white, I cross. And until then, I'll stay here because it's the safest place to be. Drivers take the road signs very seriously for all their anger. They stop at red. Pedestrians cross on the red at the corners, at the intersections, and nowhere else. Everybody knows where they need to be. That's how you can keep a city of however many million moving on a daily basis. That guy was upset because the lady was crossing against the light. It had changed. And he was quite right because he had right away. Anyway, yeah, the fact that pedestrians only cross where they're supposed to, when they're supposed to, means that the vibe I'm getting from this place is a lot calmer. Now New York is supposed to be pretty energetic and lively and it's a city that never sleeps and all that good stuff. But, compared with London, again, uh, London's kind of crazy. You never know if the guy ahead of you at the lights is going to jump out and start wailing on you. There's a sense of anger with the pedestrians because it can be a chore to get from one side of town to the other. You're not taking your life in your hands. You don't get that here. It's just so laid back and relaxed. I'm standing in the middle of a crowded intersection recording this. Nobody's even looking at me. I am not the weirdo just for this once. Kind of good. <laughs> White. Last one for a while because I'm almost back at the hotel. I know that because I'm on West 42nd Street, which is one block south, which is about 200 yards. The buildings are not square. It's worth knowing that. Building, well, sorry, not the buildings. The blocks are not square. Uh, I'm not exactly sure which way it is. I think it's, they're longer on the avenues than they are on the streets. So I just crossed eight blocks in a few minutes, whereas if I'd have been going the other way, it'd have been half an hour. And uh, 
Here I am in Times Square. So West 43rd Street is just on this corner here. And I believe that's the Good Morning America building. If I wanted to be on TV, I could sit there, but I don't. Um, U.S. Sound Forces recruiting station. And I go that way. I wasn't sure if it was right or left. I had to think for a minute which way the, the numbers went. But once I got it, we figured it out. Ooh. Fun bits, traffic. But hey, this is Town Square, and this is when they're not doing the ball drop at New Year, and it's not cordoned off, and it's not all pedestrians. It's a working city with a working street. And there's the cops. On a bike. Good stuff. And... He was honking at me, but I don't know. I'm on the pavement. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, I'm not convinced I'm going the right way. <laughs> anyway, it's all good fun. Because if I'm not going the right way, I get to the end and just turn back. Can't get lost. Update for anybody that was worried about me. I was going the right way. I didn't recognise the uh, stores I was going past. Mainly because I hadn't been past them before. I came out the other direction when I went out earlier. I'm passing uh, a few local eateries. This is uh, an interesting place. Cheetah's Gentleman's Club and Sushi Steakhouse. I'm sure that's a classy establishment. Um, there's a sidekick over the road and 24 hour parking which is where my car is waiting for me to go and get her on the way home and i'm just coming up to the western hotel which is where i'm staying for this uh, festivity so uh, it's a very nice place and at 300 dollars a night it should be thank you company for paying for it yeah, i wouldn't but there you go this is the perks when you've got a client conference you've got to look after the client show them that you are successful and we are, actually, very successful. Anyway, here I am. This is the Western Hotel. And this is me going in through the revolving door. Carrying the shot glasses I got for Nikki. Oh, <laughs> air conditioning, yes. Well, back in the room, which is good because it's got air conditioning and it is hot out there. So, I got half an hour to have a shower, get freshened up before the uh, uh, we get a cab to the pier to get on the uh, cruise for the harbour tonight. I'm going early with the uh, other manager because she's um, setting up, talking about the caterers, etc. I've got to figure out line of sight for cameras and set them up and things. But this is me in room 34, no sorry, a room on the 34th floor and this is my view out of the window. We're looking out over the Hudson River, and you can see, I think that some kind of ferry, it's not the Staten Island, because Staten Island isn't in that direction. But that away is the Statue of Liberty, and we're going to be going a, around that later as part of the tour. Uh, it's over that way, somewhere behind those buildings. Quite a view, as you can see. I got a really great photograph from here, and as you can see, I hope you can see, I might have to do it that way, it doesn't matter, but yeah, um, 34 floors straight down, it's a little queasy when you first do it, anyway, um, the one thing I haven't done yet is talk to the concession manager, concession manager, oh, the hotel group discount manager, I want to ask if I can get on the roof, get roof access, because the view from there is not going to be obscured by windows, and I'll be able to go in four directions and see the rest of the city, which I can't right now. I think he's going to say no, because 
why would they risk it on the insurance if I tripped and fell or broke something or dropped a camera off the roof and it hit somebody? The chances are extremely slim, but they've got to think about these things. Plus, the guy's got to send me up there with a babysitter just in case I'm going to pull out a rifle or jump. Um, so that means they've got to drag somebody else away from their busy day to stand around and babysit me while I'm up there. So I'll be surprised if they say yeah. But I have had that happen in other hotels before. They've said, sure, why not? You guys paid a really silly amount of money to be here and have this conference. Here's a freebie. So I'm going to ask them tonight. Right now, I've got to get off because I've got to go and jump in that shower. This is me and that's... You know what? I'm going to get a selfie. I don't really do selfies. But I'm going to get a selfie of this one. <laughs> See you later.